buongiorno, mei amici. Um, I, as an Italian persona, my friend Francesca has been encouraging me to read more period stuff. So I actually, in translation, have been enjoying Dante's Inferno <laughs> and discovered something that the deepest pit of hell is reserved for the three people Dante considered the most vile, horrible souls deserving of eternal torment. And so the three-headed uh, the, the three-headed monster Satan is chewing each mouth on one person. We have Judas Iscariot, who betrayed our Lord. The other two are Cassius and Brutus, who betrayed Caesar. Oh. And this, I believe, is that very moment. Cassius speaks of Caesar to Brutus. Julius Caesar, Act 1, Scene 2. Why, man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus, and we, petty men, walk under his huge feet and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves, that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar, what be in that Caesar? Why should his name be spoken more than yours? Weigh them, uh, sorry, write them. Yours is his fair name. Sound them, it doth become the mouth as well. Weigh them, it is as heavy. Conjure with them. Brutus will start, Cassius will start. <laughs> Conjure with them. Brutus will start a spirit as soon as Caesar. Now, in the names of all the gods at once, upon what meat? Doth this our Caesar feed, that he is grown so great? Age, thou art shamed. Rome, thou hast lost the breed of noble blood. When went there by an age since the flood, when it, when it could say, but it was famed with more than one man? When could they say till now that talked of Rome, that her wide walks encompassed but one sole man? Oh, you and I have heard our fathers say there was a Brutus once that would have brooked the eternal devil to keep his state in Rome as easily as king. <laughs>